Hi there, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy card making, please hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing a little build a flower cone flower with this brand new Altenew stamp and die set. This is a gorgeous new stamp layering set and I thought it would be really fun to do an all over floral background. We're going to start by building our cone flowers. The great thing about these all to new stamp sets is it has labeled in the stamp set what images go together as well as the order. So it's going to give you a number by each piece of the flower. I'm going to start with the outline for both of the cone flowers. Instead of doing a basic black or something like that today, I opted to stamp and emboss these with a clear embossing ink and Simon Says Stamp Antique Gold Embossing Powder. I wanted a little touch of gold on my card and I also wanted something that was going to be kind of unobtrusive to the overall floral design. I used a powder tool on my cardstock first to help keep that embossing powder only on the stamped images. I let my heat tool heat up for about 10 seconds before bringing it to the cardstock. Then I heat the back of the cardstock and then I flip it over and heat the actual stamped and embossed image to melt the powder all of the way. This keeps the cardstock fairly flat. You can see there's not a ton of warping. I'm using a 110 pound weight Nina cardstock, which I also think really helps here. I really want to keep the warping to a minimum because I am trying to line up these images with this first image and I don't want my cardstock to be kind of bowing up anywhere. Now I did try lots of color combinations off camera to come up with what I liked the best. Um, and I was really feeling, believe it or not, if you guys have been around for a while, if you know, you know, I was feeling purple. You guys know I never feel purple. <laughs> um, not very often anyway. I have been embracing it more lately for all of you purple lovers out there. I don't hate it. I just don't gravitate towards it. I don't know what the deal is. So we're gonna be doing pink and purple cone flowers. My base color there that I just stamped for the purple, that was the candy violet and for the pink bubble gum. The next layer is Regal Kiss and Raspberry Bliss. Now I'm going to just flip flop these and when I stamp these again, I did do, I'm thinking I probably did three different stamping. So I'm gonna repeat one of these color combinations for the third time. I am not gonna be stamping all of them on camera just to save some time today. But I did end up stamping all of them, but I wouldn't have needed to. So I ended up with six flowers and I only used five. So I have one complete leftover flower I can use for another project. For the first layer for the inside of the flowers, I used Pink Fresh Studio Sweet Mustard. And then I am going to stamp the leaf layer, which is going to be olive green. All of my ink colors come from Pink Fresh today. Um, olive green and then the flower center is going to be marigold. Now you're going to notice I am using, I think I used four different misties. I have had some of these for a very long time. You definitely don't need this many misties. I do really enjoy having a regular misty and then the mini misty and I think that it's very useful to have those but you don't need to have multiples of each size. I simply have them as this is my job and it worked out well today because I didn't have to switch um, the ink or anything. I didn't have to switch my stamps, pardon me, um, to ink all of these layers. Now, if you were doing this with one or even two misties, you would simply just stamp each of these assembly line style and maybe not do it quite like I did. The final layer for the leaves is going to be a little evergreen and then I don't think I mentioned it. I'm not sure if I've done that part yet. I don't think so. Oh, actually we're doing stargazer um, for the last layer. So the bigger of the two flowers has three flower floral layers and the small one only has two. Um, the color I first did, I didn't mean to, it was an accident, but 
never fear we're just going to stamp right over it this is stargazer so it's a dark navy but layered over the purple it ends up just deepening and darkening that flower a little bit the flower petal and i love it now we're going to do the last layer for the leaves so the flower centers two colors the leaves two colors the smaller of the two flowers two colors and the larger flower three colors of ink and look at the detail you get just with stamping ink so so beautiful so quick and easy Altenu really does amazing florals okay let's go ahead and grab the coordinating dies something else I want to mention about the dies they are not tabbed I love dies that don't have don't have to be cut apart so we're just going to line these up with our stamped images I already have a little piece of post-it tape here and I am going to die cut these before we go through and we're just going to flip flop the colors we use so we're going to do a big pink flower and a small purple flower this means we're just going to use the two lightest shades for the purple flower that's going to be our candy violet and regal kiss we're not going to be pulling in the stargazer navy for this one and then for the pink flower we're going to need to pick a deeper darker color for the last layer and I opted for a deep red so I'll show you that here in a second very easy to do the embossing on the outline of the flowers is going to resist the ink so even if there gets to be some ink on top of that embossing, it's going to wipe away very easily. And I'm simply flipping from one misty to another. For video purposes, this really was helpful. But if you were doing this, sitting and designing them, I would definitely assembly line style. Um, stamp all of the outlines, clean the stamps, put them back, all of the first layers, clean them, put them back, second layers, clean them, put them back, so on and so forth. I'm going to speed through the rest of these layers really quick and then we're going to get to the background and building the rest of this card and even creating a coordinating envelope. I have really been in to creating some coordinating envelopes lately and I think this or these kinds of stamp sets are actually really, really great for that. So I'm excited to show you how I do that. So let's die cut these last two. Now I'm gonna take another pretty new product from Alta New to create a background. You can definitely just pop these on any color of cardstock that you want. I really wanted a little bit of a subtle tone on tone background. So I have this four by five and a quarter piece of Hero Arts plum cardstock. And we're gonna take the Whimsical Herring Bone Background Stamp from Altenew. This is a, another brand new March release product. And we're gonna do a tone on tone stamping on this plum cardstock using the Pink Fresh Studio Regal Kiss ink. So this is a really deep dark purple and it's going to give a great subtle pattern to the background a lot of this is going to be covered up, but it does look so great just having a little bit of design in that background. It is a little dark right now, but as it dries, it's going to dry nice and light. I purposely cut this background a little bit smaller than my card base itself to give it a nice white border all the way around on this A2 sized card and tie into the white outline of these flowers. Now I'm just kind of playing around with some placement and things. It's probably not going to end up exactly like this, but just kind of playing around with it to see what I like, where and where I want to put a sentiment. The great thing about this coneflower stamp set is that there are so many fantastic sentiments in this set. Everything from love you, your kindness warms my heart, grateful for your friendship, grateful for you, sending hugs, thank you for all you do, I adore you, and hello friend. So 
nice sentiments. They're really cute and small, so they're gonna fit really nicely in the background. I'm gonna use Hello Friend. We're gonna stamp that with our clear embossing ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder on this. I Again, tying right back into the white outline on my flowers and the white border around this central panel on our card base. And I wanted it to really stand out. I didn't wanna use the gold embossing that I used for the flowers because I just feel, felt like that was going to uh, fade into the background a little bit too much. I really want the sentiment to be bold because it is small in size. After I am, it has embossed and it's cooled down, I am going to wipe away any excess powder from the powder tool using a dry microfiber cloth. And then I am gluing in place these florals, creating my background. I'm using a little liquid glue to glue these down and I'm using acrylic blocks to help hold everything nice and flat until my glue completely dries. Acrylic blocks, I don't use them much for stamping anymore, but I use them almost every time I create a card because I use them to help hold down elements and hold them down flat when using liquid glue. So they definitely still come in super handy even if I'm not using them for everyday stamping. You'll notice lots of the pieces are hanging off the edge of the card. That's totally okay. We're gonna let that kind of dry a little bit before we flip our panel over and trim off the excess. While we're letting that dry, we're gonna take a white Simon Says Stamp envelope. This is a nice matte white. This isn't a metallic or anything like that. And we are going to stamp the larger of the two floral images in the left bottom kind of corner off the edge of our envelope using black for outline. I didn't want to do embossing on my envelope. I don't love embossing on my envelopes. I do it at times because I need to, but it's not my favorite look. Um, the envelopes generally are a little bit lighter weight cardstock, I think. I think. I'm just kind of theorizing why I think I don't like it. And when I heat emboss, I think the envelopes warp a little bit. Sometimes it's inevitable, I have to, uh, for whatever design I'm doing. But if I don't have to, I don't. So I did do a black outline, and then I'm building the purple colors here for my flower. So that's gonna be the Candy Violet, Regal Kiss, Stargazer for the flower petals, Marigold and Sweet Mustard for the flower center, and Olive and Evergreen for the greenery. Look how pretty that is. There's plenty of room in the corner. For a return address, there's plenty of room out to the right of the flower for the actual mailing address. You can always do your return address on the back flap as well if you don't want to um, put too much more on the front of the envelope rather than just maybe the mailing address. But I love, love, love how this turned out and I love how it completely matches our card. So just a fun little tip, especially I know for me personally, getting an envelope in the, or card in the mail, I love getting cards in the mail, but when you get an envelope that is so pretty like this, it immediately catches your eye. Trimming off that excess and I'm gonna save all these little parts and pieces. If you've ever seen me build a background like this before, you know I'm a big fan of taking those extra pieces and filling in. So we have a couple of little spots that I feel like I need to add something to right next to Hello Friend and then up along the top. And we're just going to take a tiny little piece from two of these little extras and fill in with those. We're gonna let that dry. Then we'll flip our panel over and trim away the excess from this as well, and then glue this to the center of our white top, top fold card base to finish our card set. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Build a Flower Coneflower set from Altenew. The supplies I used to create my card and envelope are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring all new products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.